Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 47, I hope, of Super Mario RPG. So, last time, we saved- oh look at this, that's awesome, they made golden statues of all of us, and Mal is right in the middle, of course. Yeah, that's sweet. Because last time, we saved this place from the evil Valentina. Evil and wicked and wicked and evil, and there's a secret hidden frog coin right there. But that only appears once you actually beat Valentina. Before that, then there's actually like a chest with a treasure in it there. Alright, so in this episode, you would think we were going to go to the Barrel Volcano, which is the next area of the game, but actually no, there's a few things that I want to do before then, namely some secrets that I want to find, some very helpful secrets. First one is down here, you'll find the Gay Shy Away. Uh oh, busted. What to do, what to do. I'll give you this fertilizer if you let me go, okay? And he gives you the fertilizer to go along with your seed that we got from beating the Smilax, if you remember. Which I'm sure you don't, because it was such a small part of the episode back then. Alright, now that you have the seed and fertilizer, though, you need to go to Rotown. Well, you don't need to, but you really, really, really want to, because with the seed and fertilizer now, there is something, actually two somethings, very special that you need to get there. Why do I keep saying need that if you want to get there? And I recommend you get there. So over here in Rose Town, you want to head all the way to the back here past this place. I don't think we've ever even been here. This is the gardener's house. So here's the gardener. I'm the gardener. She that huge planter. I spent many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer to fill it, but had no luck. <sighs> if only I could feed find them. Incredible! I can't believe it! It's the legendary seed I've read about in the ancient garden. The they are so rare. Can you even be able to cover the huge discovery that I spent my whole life searching about? Oh my god. I was almost finished reading that dude. You didn't have to fall over, Mario. It wasn't too fast. That's my story. Say, will you give me the seed? Uh, yeah, sure. I got no use for it, buddy. Here you go. I finally have it. This is extraordinary. Ye gods! You know how the fertilizer comes from the shy way. I can't make it Mario. Okay, that one's a little bit fast and confusing, but... Yeah, okay, you have the right to follow over on that one, Mario. Even I got lost there. I was like, I was like, lol, what? Troll face. Will I give it to you? Sure. Right. Nothing else I can do with them. With them. Okay. And he's gonna combine them in his planter there. And let's see what happens. I'll plant the seed. Then give it the fertilizer. And. Come on. Nothing's happening. Oh. Um, oh my god, I would not call that nothing, dude. Wow, this is amazing. This is unreal, this is nothing going to the lottery, without attacks, I mean, this is like falling in an airplane with a parachute and hitting a gaggle of geese in midair, it breaks your fall waiting into my arm. Oh, what the hell are you talking about, the gaggle of geese in free fall? What? You could use a little... <laughs> no, no, not a little more fertilizer. It's good the way it is, dude, it grows up through your chimney, I mean, come on. So we're going to need to climb this now, and when you climb it, you reach, I guess, kind of a lost section of Nimbus land, you could say. Another area in the clouds. And there's two more chests. So, we get one, the lazy shell. And two, the lazy shell? What? Why do we need two lazy shells? Are they just giving us double the awesomeness? Well, actually, no. See, one of these lazy shells, this first one here, a stout and durable shell. That is armor. And this is a actual weapon shell. So, and you can only give that to Mario. And as you can see, wait, I need to see what his attack is right now. 173 to 203, so 30, or an additional 30 to his attack. So, this is Mario's ultimate weapon. There's never going to be a weapon later in the game that's better for him than this one. It has 90 attack, and you can sell it for 100 coins, but I would not recommend doing that, not at all. So, we're going to go ahead and swap that out right away. That's awesome. And this lazy shell, you can give it to anyone, but I highly, highly recommend giving it to Peach here. Because, as you can see, um, her defense is 107 and 93, go to 198 and 202. Oh my god. That is just crazy. And plus, there's even more to it than that. This armor, let me see, or if I, if I can find it, uh, give it a toadstool, she'll be, yeah, see, because... Here's the stats of this arm. Minus 50 speed, not too welcome. Minus 50 attack, not too welcome. 127 defense, very welcome. Minus 50 magic attack, not too welcome. And 
127 magic defense. Very welcome. It also... Wait for it. Wait for it. It also protects against all status ailments. That's right, all of them. So, basically, when you put this on Peach, virtually nothing can harm her much at all. More than, one, like, one damage. There are some things that can do stuff, like stuff that, like, bypasses defense and instant KO moves, I think, can still hurt or kill her. Other than that, yeah. So, I really recommend giving that to her, because she's not much of an attacker anyways. The drops in attack and speed won't be too devastating. And she'll be able to stick around for a while and heal you and everything. It's great. Great stuff. Mm. Okay. So now that we're done with that seed and fertilizer, um, what else can I do, actually? Oh, I know one thing I can do. Yes. So I guess to end off this episode, I'm going to go and fight some of the hardest fights in this entire game. Not even kidding. And they are out in Monster Town, and no, it's not the fight that you're probably thinking it is. Ah, uh, that one's going to be saved for much, much later. Still not strong enough to fight that one. But if you come over here, up to Jinx's dojo, then we are going to fight the one himself, Jinx, here. Alright? He is no, by no means an easy enemy. So, only come here once you think you are completely ready. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and find them in this enemy list. So I can tell you all the stuff, because this is essentially a boss fight. It's harder than a lot of the boss fights in this game. Okay. You wish to challenge me? Yes. Alright, let's see what you're capable of. And we get launched into a fight. Okay, so this is the first battle against Jinx. Oh, Jinxed. And watch this. Virtually nothing to Peach. That's crazy. Alright, so this Jinx, this first battle against him, he has 600 hit points. The abilities Jinxed, Valor Up, and Triple Kick, which that Triple Kick can be kind of annoying. And he is resistant to fire, thunder, ice, fear, poison, sleep, and mute has no weaknesses. So, your, your super jump will still be okay against him, I guess. But really, you don't need to do that. Just kind of wail him with your normal attacks, even. And he'll go down pretty quickly. Oh, here's the lazy shell, by the way. Look how ridiculous that looks. Alright, Peach, you're going to go ahead and use the uh, star egg, though. Because, not, especially now with that lazy shell, you're not going to be doing much at all with that war fan. I mean, maybe sometimes you're fighting, like, a Goomba or something, you might kill it in one hit. I don't know. But, that's very... Yeah, Valor up. Okay, so here, he's gonna raise his defense, which is not very welcome. But, it's still tolerable. We're still doing an okay amount of damage to him. I'm gonna go ahead and super jump him to... I don't know if Valor up actually raises both of his defenses or just the physical one. I'm pretty sure it's just the physical one, but I guess... Oh no, that's gotta be both. Um, well, I guess that's just his defense in general, because even the star right here, you're gonna see, it's gonna do half of the damage. It's gonna do 50 damage to him instead of 100. That's what Valor does, it just raises defense against everything, pretty much. Alright, jinxed. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! Ow, that was kinda painful. Alright, and between all the all these battles, there's gonna be three battles against Jinx, and you will be instantly healed between all of them, so no worry. Simply amazing! So we beat him the first time here. And you get instant healed, and then I guess I underestimated you. I've underestimated you. Pack quite a punch, but don't let that go to your head, because I have because I let you have that round. Let's have a rematch. Sure thing, Halls. Here we go. No cracking if you get hurt. Oh I won't. Alright, so he's gonna get an attack off right here. Quicksilver. Oh, this is one of his newer abilities, I guess. And I just completely blocked that. Alright, so this is his Jinx version 2. And he has 800 HP, 200 more than he had last time. He has the ability Quicksilver, uh, Jinx, Triple Kick, Valor Up, and Silver Bullet, which is very, very dangerous because that can kill you in one hit unless you have some kind of accessory or something that blocks against that. Uh, he has the same resistances and stuff. So, just be very, very careful of that silver bullet. Other than that, this guy shouldn't be too much harder than last time. Other than the fact that he has more HP. So, let's just start wailing on him, I guess. Oh, triple kick. Ow. Is it gonna hurt? Ooh, my... God, ow. That's crazy. Alright, Peach. Go ahead and use the star egg. Pretty much just use all of your really powerful attacks on him while he doesn't do the Valor, because once you do enough damage to him, he's always going to Valor up. 
I think anyways. Mm. So, oh, he's just doing Jinxed here. That's fine. On Peach, no less. Alright, Gino. We're gonna have you Gino boost to Mario, I guess. Because Gino boost is very much your friend in this fight. And in pretty much every boss fight, but still. Alright, oh, I probably should heal Gino, shouldn't I? Uh, I can do that right now, actually. Here we go. Gino, take some therapy. And we heal you for 88, which is good enough. And here goes Valor up. So annoying, but... What are you gonna do? Alright, Gino, boost to yourself, so we can get a little bit more past that Valor up. And we get some defense ourselves, which is nice. So very nice. Alright, 42. That's crap. What? I just hit him <laughs> one damage. There you go. Yeah, who has the lazy shell now? Yeah, see, even the triple key. Oh, here you go, silver bullet. Oh, I blocked it. I blocked it, but now I'm down to one HP. But I did block it. You saw that. Because if I didn't, if I hadn't blocked, or maybe Mari's wearing something that protects against one hit kills, I don't know. But if I had not blocked that, then I would be, then Mario would be pretty much dead right now. So, there you go. It's blockable. It's hard to block, but blockable. I'm just glad I didn't do that to Mario right there. He would have killed him. Alright, 136. Good job, Mario. That's more like it. Alright, Peach, go ahead and use, uh... I might want to use a red essence in this fight. I don't know. Oh, I don't have any healing items? Okay. Well, then just use therapy. That's the best I can do for you, Mario. Alright, thank you. And Silver Bolt again. Yeah, see, it can even kill Peach with her lazy shell in one hit. That's how damn powerful this thing is. Huh. <sighs> silver Bolt. He doesn't actually fire a Silver Bolt. Oh, we can beat him. Yes. Perfect. And you don't actually get any experience through these battles, which is kind of stupid, but... Still haven't had enough. It isn't often that I find someone this competitive to spar with. Alright, this match will be the one that counts. Yeah, so basically, he's been holding back on this this whole time. Now, it's time for the real Jinx fight. Watch closely, Jacker. You're about to see your sensei in action. Now, get ready for this. On this first attack, I think he's going to pretty much do the same thing. Yep, bombs away. Every time he's going to do this. 320 damage. Yep. Pretty much, even if you're at level 30, I think that'll kill you. Unless you block it, maybe. I don't know. I've never blocked it myself, so... Mm-hmm. Okay, so... This is Jinx, version 3. He has 1,000 hit points, 200 more than he had last time, and 400 more than his original form. His abilities, bombs away, vigor up now, so he can raise his attack too, which is very threatening. Valor up, Quicksilver, Silver Bolt, Jinx, and Triple Kick, so he still has that Silver Bolt, so watch the fuck out, man. Alright, so basically, just wail on him until he does that. Oh, he does he have like more defense? Maybe I just missed the action command that time, because that should have healed him. Or that should have done more damage than it did that lazy shell. Alright, come back, Gino. We need you. Need you and your Gino boost. Star comes down from the heavens and saves you. It saves your life. Thank you. Sweet. Jinxed. I'm pretty sure that's just like a really powerful attack and it doesn't have any secondary effects so that Jinxed thing. Alright. So we're just going to go ahead and try to own him as much as possible. Quicksilver. Alright. Um, it doesn't seem that we're doing too much damage with our normal attacks, so I'm actually going to go ahead and... This is a strategy I used off camera when I was... Yes, I actually did a practice fight against this guy all through fights. And I just had pretty much everyone use the star egg every turn. It was very time consuming and tedious. So, I'm probably just gonna actually cut out most of this battle, because it's just gonna be me using the Star Egg over and... Oh my god, that was powerful. Using the Star Egg over and over again. And it gets really a lot more tedious once he uses Valor up, because it'll only do 50 damage each time, which is annoying. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead until I either beat him or lose, or something interesting happens. So, and he just laid waste on Gino. Now, I'm just going to cut away, so hold on. Alright, finally we did it. Okay, basically the trick I did there is basically just use the star. I can never let up unless two of your party members are dead, because then you're in danger. Alright? Okay, whoa. 
You are stronger, the stronger champion, no doubt about it. My reputation was staked on this last fight, so I've lost the title of Sensei. From this, from today, you are the Sensei of this dojo. Please take this belt, which only the highest ranking fighter in the dojo can wear. And you get the the Jinx belt. There you go. We will rename the dojo Mario Style Jojo and incorporate your jumping technique into the training. And he goes and puts up a new sign outside, I think. So you can even check that out if you want. Alright. Jacker and I will start our training immediately. And 100, 1,000 warm-up jumps. Ready? Begin! Alright. So we'll just jump along with him for a little bit here. That's boring, though. So here we have a new equip that we just got. It is, uh, I think, an accessory. It looks like it. Um, dude. Okay, this is the Jinx belt. So, uh, let me look that up quickly. Where is it? Hmm. Jinx, Jinx, Jinx belt. Is it in here? There it is. Alright, this, you can sell this for 999 coins if you want to. Um, it also prevents instant death which is very, very useful. It has uh, 12 speed, 27 attack, and 27 defense. So, uh, I'm debating on who to equip this to. I don't know. This could be very useful for really any of us. Um, no, I think I'm going to equip it to Peach, actually, because that rare scarf, like, the rare scarf gives more defense, sure, but I think the lazy shell is more than enough, and, um, Peach and that Jinx spell is going to be great in protecting against mortal blows because there's going to be a few enemies with, that can do that later on. All right, the rare scarf. Does it? Does the rare scarf have any like other effects? Maybe. Let's see. Um, no. I could equip it to some to either of these guys, but I think I'll just leave them as they are for now. So that's going to be it for this episode, I guess. I just showed you a few little interesting neat items you can do. Yeah, see, there's a big M here. That's awesome. So, that's it, I guess. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.